Welcome to the Courtauld Gallery and to our latest exhibition, Renoir at the Theatre, looking at La Loge. La Loge is one of the great highlights of the Courtauld Gallery and indeed one of Impressionism's greatest masterpieces, painted by Renoir in 1874 and his principal contribution to the first Impressionist exhibition of that year. In this exhibition, we look in detail at this magnificent picture of an elegant couple displayed in their loge or theatre box in the context of Renoir's other paintings of theatre boxes and those of his contemporaries. And we bring together here masterpieces by Renoir, Mary Cassatt, Edgar Degas and others in an attempt to understand what it was about the theatre box that made it such a fascinating and radical subject for this new art of Impressionism. And I should mention straight away, one of the other excitements of the exhibition is to also bring this small version of our own La Loge together for the first time with the larger picture. And it's particularly exciting as this work has only just been sold at auction in Sotheby's a couple of weeks ago, and we're very lucky to have it here in the exhibition. One of the reasons why the theatre box was such a favourite subject of Renoir and his contemporaries at this period was because it was the perfect stage to observe um, modern society on display. And nowhere is this more true than in the work of the American Mary Cassatt, who exhibited with the Impressionists for the first time in 1879 with this painting of an elegant young woman posed in her loge. And you see her glamour and elegance particularly well captured in the flickering lights of the theatre that reflect in the background mirror. But if Mary Cassatt could paint an image of this glamorous young woman, she could also paint a very different view of a woman in her theatre box. And in this painting, which comes to us from Boston, we see a woman dressed in black, scrutinising somebody else in the audience through her opera glasses. Whereas here, it is the woman who is the object of desire and display. In this work, it is the woman who is the active spectator. But if you look a little closer at this work, in the top corner, you see that she is also an object of desire, because there in the background in another loge, a man leans forward to observe her through his opera glasses. And it was this sort of game of gazes that so fascinated the Impressionists at this time. In 1874, Renoir had been the first artist to take the loge as the subject of fine art. By 1880, he and his contemporaries of the Impressionist group had really made the subject their own. And this picture from 1880 is one of Renoir's last great pictures of a theatre box. But it started life very differently as a portrait of Monsieur Turquet and his wife. However, Monsieur Turquet rejected the commission, and so Renoir painted him out of the picture. And x-rays reveal that you can still see his form beneath the red area in the top right of the picture. Not disheartened, Renoir decided to turn the picture into an elegant depiction of two young ladies seated in one of the most opulent boxes in the theatre. As well as showing the work of Renoir and his contemporaries, this exhibition also features a rich array of material from the popular press of the 19th century, caricatures and fashion plates in particular, all of which deal with the subject of the theatre box and society on display in their loges. By bringing together this extraordinary group of Impressionist masterpieces, all focused around Renoir's La Loge, this exhibition aims to show just what it was that made this new subject of the theatre box so exciting for this radical generation of young Impressionist painters. <laughs> 